Hey YouTubers, this is EMDSC14R coming to you live from PA. Um, this is a video on my Christmas decorations and my um, MTHO scale trains. I'm talking a little bit quietly now because my dog Skippy's upstairs sleeping and he has a tendency to bark. Um, yeah, so don't want that. But here's the lights right here. Let me go ahead and uh, pan around this way because I don't want you guys to see the other decorations just yet turn on this light. Uh, my mom put all the decorations up around here. Every last one of them. This is actually a porcelain tree. It actually lights up. And uh, there's the plug for it right there. There's a plug back there that she can plug it in so that'll be lit up. Nativity scene here. Um, got the decorations here on the table. Uh, above the kitchen stove here, here, here got another little scene going on here with the angels gathered around the tree some of them are holding wreaths candy canes Christmas tree um, mom's had these for a while she got these from QVC I think they're all different she got this from the Goodwill few months ago. She also picked up this Santa Claus. I don't know where she got that from, but there's lights. I mean, not lights. Uh, put batteries in it. It talks. This thing scared me when I came home from school because I thought it just didn't look right there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, there's a reindeer. And then we have the, the lights here. And she put bows on them. There's lights on the deck, but they're not plugged up right now. But yeah, let me guys sh let me show you guys uh, what that looks like with the uh, lights off again. Kind of looks like a waterfall, huh? In a way. Now, this is what I want y'all to see. Let me step back over here. You guys ready? Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Ta-da! I got two Christmas trees set up. Not one, but two. So here we go. Okay, my mom, my mom actually set up that one over there first. But then my dad wanted to know if she could put up a second Christmas tree because he really wanted a second Christmas tree up. So she set this one up too. We have like four or six boxes of Christmas trees, so yeah this one's really nice it's got all the di de different decorations there's baby jesus in that one a uh, whole bunch of different ornaments leaves um the, there's some ornaments on the ta on the the uh, island kitchen island there that i made when i was in high school for christmas so those will be put up on the tree and then there's some more Christmas decorations that says Noel. Little bunny there. Um, yeah, my mom really, really out, really goes above and beyond with Christmas decorations. Here's another fancy Christmas tree. It's got bells on it and it lights up. Uh, there's some more Christmas decorations here. I'm trying to do this as quietly as I can because one wrong move if I bump into something the dog's gonna bark. This says Santa's reindeer. I'll plug this in real quick. Actually lights up. See you got Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen. So mom bought my mom bought this a while ago. And then she put these lights up with the what that's called it's not a reef but it's something you know along those lines if you put a bell here a bell there there's another noel sign i'll go over there for that show you all that um got the christmas tree farm thing right there um got some more christmas decorations this is actually made out of copper and brass it's an angel bring the 
this up for y'all. It's actually made out of copper and thick brass. My mom got this a few years ago. It's a very, very nice piece. Um, got the eagle there. Some more decorations. Here's the other tree. Gotta have trains, you know. Trains are a big part of holiday season. And they're a big part of my life, so you can't have a Christmas without trains. I mean, you can, but when people think of trains, they associate with Christmas. There's one that says hope. Um, joy. Merry Christmas. Uh, candy canes. There's, there's another little train right here. Another little train. There's the angel right there. Um... This one, this one, bells right there. A um, whole bunch of other stuff. And then we have a, I forget what scale this is, but it's a large scale nativity scene. Got the whole scene there, there's baby Jesus. Angel, shepherd boy, and the three kings. And then the donkeys back over there and you got the snowmen back there and there's another angel and now let's go to the trains uh, I got one park back here um, I have the boxes for, let me get them let me, let me, well anyway this is my let me get the names hold on I don't want to get the names wrong this is from uh, Ready Made Toys at RDC. RDC Bud Car here is uh, from Ready Made Toys. Very, very nice model. It's a Reading Company, um, RDC. It's got the detailed chains and the horns. The lights on the roof actually flash. I can't run it because Skippy will bark. Um, the passenger cars it's pulling are the MTH Pennsylvania Railroad Congressional set. Um, I got all the cars. Um, Roosevelt, I think, is one of the car names. This one is Molly Pitcher. That car is Molly Pitcher. Um, I do have the GG1 for that, but it's in the shop right now. So, uh, it's been in the shop for a while. Don't know if it'll be out before Christmas. But, yeah. That's what I have pulling this train right now. Uh, this is what I've been... I've used this for years, but it's always been a pain because it overheats a lot. But since I haven't used it in a while, in years in fact, it's not overheating anymore. So I don't know what happened with that, but that's a good thing, thank God. Um, I actually spent... I don't know how long cleaning the center rail here. Because the center rail was very, very bad. I used a bright boy on that, so now the trains run perfectly. Um, then we have my MTH Phase 4 Amfleet set. You guys really can't see it. I'm really sorry about that. Actually, I can, I can actually do this. Instead of having y'all strain like that. Now you guys can see. I'm sorry about that. Let me just re-show you the the Reading car. Um, there's the Reading car. So, yeah. And then all the Pennsylvania cars. Um, let me go back over here. This one is Alexander Hamilton. Uh, there's Betsy Ross. Um, William Penn. And then the first one's Molly Pitcher, so no Roosevelt in there. Sorry about that, but there's the bullet end observation car. They're fully lighted, highly detailed, full. And that, that was the last, last one I got before MTH discontinued them. That's the last congressional set I got before they stopped making them. I don't know if anybody else has one of the last issues of that set, but I got one of the last ones. It's not the last one. Uh, but here's my MTH uh, Phase 4 uh, Amfleet set. This says Northeast District Service. I've had this set for years. I've had this since I was like 14 years old. 
So you got your first coach. Got your cafe. It says Amtrak's Metroliner service. And the cars are individually numbered. It says food service car. And then here's my other coach right here. And here's my fourth one right there. So four, four car set. I do have an Amtrak uh, Cascade Service Blue and so uh, was it Cascade Service? No, Surfliner, not Cascade. It's a Surfliner Blue and Silver F59 PHI number 450. That's in the shop too. I put the GG1 in it in the same at the same. Uh, they both went in the shop at the same time with the same problem. From I don't know what happened, but it's been like that for a while. But anyway, uh, this is a Lionel Caboose. That was given to me by my old gym teacher from middle school. Um, yeah. Uh, my only FEC car in, eight, in in any scale, to my knowledge. Uh, it's an aggregate hopper. It's got the removable load. There's a Royster tank car. The railings are the railings actually got damaged, so I removed them. Uh, the only one that's there is there, but other than that, it's uh, in great shape. Um, I think there are a few that don't have railings on them, but I'm not sure. And here's my Denver and Rio Grande Jordan Spreader. Real working wings on both sides. This is one of the first ones I got. Actually, when I bought this, I bought this and this. No, I bought this along with this. This is my Lionel Pennsylvania Railroad RS3 number 8826. It's a good engine. It's not really a strong puller, I would say. I think it's only got one power truck and not two. Um, I wanted the team, I wanted to actually have this engine pulling the congressional set in place of my GG1, but it's not strong enough, so I put the RDC um, on it. And then finally, my MTH Rail King CP Rail SW8 number 6706. This is a amazing locomotive, amazing. The sounds are, are are perfect and everything. Only thing is, I need to get another 9 volt battery for it. You know, one of those, it, it has, that's the, what controls the sounds in it. it. It's had that issue before. So, I gotta get a 9 volt battery for it because it won't run for some reason without that. I mean, the battery's in there, but it's dead. So, I need to go and get that changed. Uh, great model great model uh, as you guys probably saw all the boxes are here for them I got the SW8 from Nicholas Smith Trains uh, I can take this off the track and show y'all very highly detailed model let me bring in the light highly detailed she hasn't been run that much because my trains were put away in their boxes for a long, long time. But as you guys can see, she's got eight-wheel drive, crisp paint, amazing detail. Um, I like it. I had to get it because I think that was the last one that Nicholas Smith had. And actually, I, I actually I got it for really, really cheap, really, really cheap. Um, but yeah. I wish I had my GG1 and my Surfliner F59 here to show you. My Surfliner F59 actually has a smoke unit in it. It actually does have a smoke unit. Um, and I would always use the Surfliner on my Amfleets over there. The Amfleets do go around the curves. But they have a little problem with these here. Slightly. I don't have... I only have two more of the wide radius curves. I did have, I think I had, this is all the track I have actually. This is actually all the track I got. Um, that's my only switch right there. 
don't know if it still works, but it should. But, uh, yeah. This will be one half of the video. Uh, hopefully, well, definitely in the daytime, you guys will be seeing, uh, this running. Because I did try to run it tonight, and it, and Skippy went ballistically nuts. He just kept barking and barking and barking. And I was really disappointed because I really wanted to run this tonight. I really did. So, and this is the first time in, mm, hmm, I think, several Christmases, my, maybe four or five Christmases, this is the first time that my low-scale trains were set up around the Christmas tree. And by the way, this is the first time I ever had two Christmas trees set up at the same time because this is actually the biggest house I've, we've ever had. This is the biggest house we've had, so, yeah. And by the way, this is staying up all year round now. My mom and dad said, "Don't you don't have to take it down. It'll just stay up all year round. So, yep. That'd be nice. And plus, my dad likes this scale anyway. I am thinking about getting him a Lionel train for Christmas, but I need to bust my butt really, really bad. I gotta see how much they're gonna cost. I'm thinking about getting him some Santa Fe F units in the war bonnet scheme like he had when he was a kid. I don't know how much they're gonna go for, but I really need to bust my butt in the next two weeks if I'm gonna pay for them. And if I'm gonna get the whole set, the whole set, I'm definitely gonna need to bust my butt literally I did get him a Christmas present though me and my mom got him got him a nice Christmas present but I wanted to see if I could get him that but we'll see it might be might be able to get the engines but not the cars but we'll see all right so you guys be cool I hope you enjoyed this first part uh, it'll be a few seconds for y'all but it'll be several hours for me because I'm gonna go to bed y'all God bless and uh, Merry Christmas and a happy New Year Peace, y'all.